Hey everyone here from TunnelVision TV and in this tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to shatter a wall in Maya 2017. So I'm just going to start with a new scene so I'm going to go file new scene and I don't want to save that. And um, then before we start we need to make sure that you have the bullet plugin loaded in Maya. Um, as I said I'm using Maya 2017 but you should be able to follow along in earlier versions as well. So to make sure that bullets loaded go to windows right at the top and then go to settings preferences and then plugin manager. And then just make sure that the bullet bundle is loaded and I also tick this auto load so it actually starts up automatically with Maya. Okay, and then you should have this bullet tab. If you don't have it, just restart Maya and it should appear there. Alright, so first of all I'm going to create a plane for the floor. So I'm going to go to polygons and it's going to create a normal plane. And then I'm just going to scale it up like that. And I'm going to open the outliner just to rename everything to keep it nice and neat. So I'm going to double click on our plane and just call it floor. Okay, so we can hide the outliner and um, now we're gonna just create the wall so I'm gonna create a cube um, and I'm gonna scale it um, let's just see uh, so I'm gonna give it a scale of 15 and uh, let's see the height we can make around 10 and then we're just gonna move it up something like that and make sure that's set to five so it's actually on the plane like that okay we can actually scale the floor a little bit more so i'm just going to scale the floor up something like that should be fine okay let's rename our wall so i'm going to go into the outliner double click on the cube and let's just call this wall okay i'm going to hide the outliner again and then i'm going to create a sphere that's going to be the ball that's basically crashing through the wall so uh let's just move that sphere up and I'm going to move it over to the side like that. Okay, so we're going to start with shattering the wall and then after that we'll add the dynamics. So I'm going to select the wall and then I'm going to make sure that I'm on the FX tab. So this modeling section here, just change that to FX. And then right here at the top, go to effects and then next to shatter, click on the little cube. And um, we're going to go to solid shatter. I'm going to shatter count 100. And I usually untick triangle at surface and then I select original surface to delete that, click create and it's going to give you an error because we need to delete the history of that object. So I'm going to close this with your wall selected, go to uh, edit and then delete by type history and now we can shatter it. So with that wall still selected, go to effects, go to shatter, click on the box, uh, make sure you're on solid shatter, 100 pieces. Um, deselect triangulate and make sure you're on delete original surface click on create and just give it a couple of seconds to um, for it to load okay so we've got our shattered wall as you can see there and now I'm gonna open my outliner so we can start adding the dynamic properties to these objects so let's start with the floor so I'm gonna click on floor and um, then I'm gonna go to the bullet tab and I'm gonna click on the create a passive rigid body object and then I'm going to click on the sphere and I'm going to set that to active rigid body. And um, now if we play this back, you'll see that the sphere will just drop to the floor and it will uh, land on the, on, the, on the floor basically. So now we need to add dynamic properties to our shattered wall. So I'm going to click the solid shatter here in the outliner and then I'm going to click on this icon, create a set of rigid body objects from the selection. All right, so that's all cool. Let's play that and you'll see that our wall will explode. Okay, that's obviously not what we want so i'm going to click on the bullet solver here in the outliner go to solid shatter one set initial state and um, then we're going to change some properties under um, under the settings here so first of all i'm going to change the collision shape type from box to hull and then i'm also going to change the collision shape margin from 0 0.04 to zero okay let's just play that back again and i'll see that the wall will just kind of crumble Okay, so let's stop that and now we want to add some glue to that so it doesn't really just break um, when we start playing. So I'm going to set glue shapes and then I'm going to change the glue breaking threshold to 1. Okay, let's just play that again and nothing really will happen. The ball will drop and that's about it. So we want to add some initial velocity to this sphere. Okay, so with a sphere selected we're going to go to the bullet rigid body um, shape 2. And um, then we're going to go to the initial conditions drop down. Just click on that. And uh, we want to give it some velocity in the Z axis. So it's actually shooting that way. Okay, so basically under initial velocity. So this is X, Y, Z. And we want to give it a Z value. So let's say around 70 or 80. And let's play that back again. 
Okay, so you can see it's actually moving in the right direction, but it doesn't do anything because it doesn't have enough mass to break that wall. So with the sphere selected in that same drop down, uh, we have the mass. I'm just going to up the mass to around, let's set it to about 50. Let's try that again. And that's how easy it is to shatter a wall in Maya 2017. Give me a thumbs up if you like this one and remember to click on that subscribe button for new tutorials every week. Thanks a lot for watching. Cheers, bye.